from New York City and crying out to the rest of the world. This is Hope on the Slope News with your anchors, Hope Fading and Pray Harder. Good evening, everyone. I am Hope Fady, and this is Hope, Hope on the Slope News. News. Nine o'clock edition. Your local news is next. Rebuilding Lower Manhattan. The plans were initiated with a lot of talks between the federal government and, and Mayor Bloomberg. According to the mayor, $60 million coming from the federal funds will help to build 300 new affordable housing units for low-income families. The units will be located at south of Canal Street and near East Broadway. So Manhattan residents are happy with the announcement. <laughs> Not so fast, people, because according to the mayor, only those who make between 60 and 80,000 are available, are eligible. What about single workers? Who makes this kind of money these days, huh, Mr. Bloomberg? We're wondering, how would Mr. Bloomberg classify those who make less than $50,000 a year? Poor? Poorly? Poorest? Miserable? Unfortunate? Out of the question. You choose. Let's get the population's reaction. I'm not going to leave this apartment. I'm not going to leave this apartment. Then I'm going to be sentenced to live in a cage. And right here. I'm not staying Right here. Look out, lady. I'm, you're in my way. Hey, call somebody! Back. This lady's bothering me! Police! Police! I'm gonna call the police! So what? I'm calling the police! Call them! Well, you better call They'll the police! I'll shoot you 41 times! So I thought you and your people had left this area! Oh. You're not supposed to be here! Why does it have to be Where our the people? The Latinos and blacks have left Harlem! But what does it have to be our people? Why can't it be your because people once in a while? you have to find someplace else to I'm live. not leaving this affordable apartment! Yes, you are! The rent is cheap. Rob, I'm not leaving the apartment. Why do I have to rob who somebody? Did you steal from? Why are you people so racist? You affordable can go apartment live for you somewhere from somewhere else. No, I'm not leaving my this affordable. Is not an Look, affordable lady, apartment. please. There are no more They're affordable in my way. I'm apartments. calling the police. There are no more affordable I'm apartments. I'm a taxpayer too. I have a right they to live here. They have changed the laws. They've done away with rent. Why control. do you think you're better than I am? Oh, I can get ten thousand dollars for Listen, that apartment. Listen, I collect cans you to live here. Well, I could get someone to move in from Wall Street. I can raise the rent you can't ten raise. times if I get rid of They're you. They're not, no, none of the people that I know are going to leave here for your friend. I'm going to get a young Wall Street yuppie. You get the yuppie. You know what's going to happen to that yuppie? No blacks and no Hispanics in here anymore. That's a racist remark. No, it's not. I have a right to live here and you Anyone can't tell me anything. The, you can't pay $10,000 a month and you have to pay $10,000 $10, a month to live here. We're going to redecorate you this apartment and we're going to quadruple the rent and we're getting a young Wall Street yuppie to live in here. No more blacks and Hispanics. You That's know I'm on a fixed income. You shouldn't do that to no, us. You have no right. Street. Everybody has a right to live street. somewhere. Everybody has a right to, to live. Brooklyn. Lady, you're in my way. You can't come in. I'm sorry. And speaking of Lower Manhattan, families who moved back to the area are still waiting for the grant not seeing any of the cash. The financial incentive offered to them of $500 a month or $6,000 a year is not so easy to get. Some residents keep stumbling in the misinformation and bureaucracy as always. What is the money? Hmm, the money flew to Iraq. Did you know that the USA spent $460 billion with all, with all this Iraqi things? What would you do if you had $460 billion? Gee, I don't know. How many zeros do $460 billion has? A lot, girlfriend, a lot. Now, speaking of Iraq, thank you, Mr. President. Yo, Pops, um, I was wondering, what do you think about this Iraqi war that's going on right now? What? What war? Refresh my memory. Well, this uh, war about weapons and mass destruction that President Bush keeps up. You put right here your book. Okay. And you're going to be bent over, you can read. Okay. 
Okay? Okay? Is that my mic okay? It just sounds like a lot of talking. Audio's back good there. on me too? Okay. So the last one will have to stop. Hey, that background's not going to run out, is it? No. <laughs> this is difficult, this glass business right here. Where are we supposed to go? Sharon's not even here. <laughs> oh. Annie's not even here. <laughs> okay. You, you want to whoa. Start, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm losing my mind. Hey, look, I don't know about traveling anywhere. I'm unemployed, and I'm lucky if I can get a Metro card to get across town. And not only that, the health insurance situation as well. So, like, I'm unemployed now, so if I get sick, then I can't even afford to go look for a job because I'm just laid out and I'm in the street. Well, you voted for Bush, right? Listen, I voted for the other guy, all right? But you know, they, t they didn't count my vote. They didn't count anyone's vote. Well, then I guess it's hail to the thief. Now, it, I, I am, I'm, I'm getting something. We have some breaking news. I am Pray Harder. Population in panic. Why? Because there's no money in their paychecks. One dead, some injured. Let's check out the situation. Next. Yeah, I'm here to get my check. Sign here. Hey, so uh, where'd all my money go? You're taking out way too much of me. How do you expect, hey, I'm, hello, hello. Hey, I'm, I gotta pay my rent here. Hello, this is LA. Where's what? all my money? Hey. It looks like a federal this government. This place is a rip, man. Please, come, come on. on. We've been on this line three hours already. Let's go. Come on. I want to see the color of my money. Wait a minute. What's this? It's oh, God. Looks like the INS. How could this be? Uh oh, oh. This is ridiculous. I hope they burn in hell. Hey, oh, man, what's going on? Next, sign here. You sign there. Where's my money? I want my money, lady. Lady, where's my money? I want my money. What's going on? Oh, my God. Oh, Lord. What happened? Oh, man. My. Next. Oh, my God. Next. Come on, help him up. I'm Next. Get over there. Come on! Yeah, well, what's going on? Sign here! Everybody sign so here! Good. Oh, what? Oh, Lord! How am I going to feed my kids now? There is no money here! What's going on? Can you explain to me? I can't believe it! She don't listen to me! Oh, Lord! Looks like a federal oh, government Lord. agency! You're too much! So what happened over here? What's going on? I don't know, man. Go see what's going on. Hey, Sign who here. Who are you anyway? Sign here. But you're, this is the this is the stub right here, so that's not the right amount. How come you got such a low amount here? No, I, I'm supporting the government too for all this kind of like shit that's going on over here. Let me sign this and get the hell out of here. All right. Next. Sign here. That's why there's so many bank robberies. That's why there's so many bank robberies! And these politicians keep pushing people! I got a bomb here! And I'm a <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! He has a bomb! No, no! No, 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 don't do that! No, 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 don't do that! Oh my god! Oh my god! Come on! God, shut up, lady! Shut up! There is no more! No more! Yeah, I'm here. I'm here to pick up my check. Hello? Sign here. Sign here for what? I'm here to pick up my check. Hello? Hello, ma'am? Are you deaf? What do I have to sign this for? This is it? This is all the money I get? After so many years I'm working? I think she's deaf. She doesn't hear. Hello? Come on, lady. Come on, lady. Okay, why don't Next. you close in there? 
Wow. Let's go. Where's your moving? Sign here. Good job. Can I have a check, please? Good job. What about my check? What do I have to sign this for? Could you tell me what's this all about? I'm, I'm not going to sign anything. Could you give me my check? Next. Well, the day is over. Ha <laughs> ha. Now, we will listen to one of the most brilliant candidates for the United States presidency. Here's our reporter, Little Less. Oh, it's crazy. Overpopulation? Excuse me over here. I'm going to pass on through here. Oh, right. good afternoon, Mr. Clever. How are you? Oh, hi. Hello. How are you, young man? All right. Um, uh, Mr. Clever, Mr. Clever, yes, how can you are running for a president. Oh, yes, it is true. Uh, but let me check my schedule to make sure of that. Uh, okay, it is validated. I, yes, my darling, I will be running for president. For how the... could that be? You are a C student. Let me tell you, young man, that I might be of a lower grade average than you, but you can help me out here. I want you to be my right-hand man. And on top of that, we have a beautiful writer and producer here who can help us out with the promotional work. I have a writer friend who's jumping on the team. I will be reelected. We're going to keep it simple and just like the spin of the coin tails you in, so we're on our way. Aha, uh -huh. is that how it works? Uh -huh. You're oh, still a C student. Here we go. Our next president is so set up. With a candidate like Mr. Clever, maybe our lives will get better because New York has become a living hell. Crimes, bank robbers, and the TV only show violence, blood everywhere. Citizens are getting shot for no reason. For comments on the subject, is our political analyst, Mr. Could Be, Dr. Could Be. What do you think of this candidate profile? Thanks, Hope. New York City, August 2003. Skyrocketing property taxes, the falling job market, the housing crunch, and rising prices. What we are now experiencing is the second wave of an attack that began on public housing conditions over a half century ago. In the 1920s, 30s, and 40s, public works developer Robert Moses swept New York City and Long Island with a barrage of highways, bridges, tunnels, and parks. Massive projects these were costing hundreds of millions of dollars at a time when the world was experiencing the Great Depression. Over these decades, he managed to manipulate the system until finally he had complete control over billions of dollars of public money with no governmental oversight whatsoever. After World War II, Robert Moses seized control of public housing in New York and all of the federal money that came with it. Dr. Kudibi, let's talk about the mayor news projects in order to make up in New York. I see some similarity between Mr. Bloomberg and Robert Moses. What do you think? Fast forward to today. Prior to 9-11, the economy was in decline. After 9-11, the economy took a nose dive. Under these conditions, while New Yorkers were recovering from their trauma, Mayor Bloomberg hits New York with an 18 percent property tax. Really, in many cases, life-threatening situations led us to safety. Which, of course, has set off a chain reaction across the board of higher taxes and higher prices for everything. Then came the layoffs rent increases, transit fare hikes, and park and ticket blitz. And let's not forget the cuts in Medicaid. Large corporations have shipped customer service jobs overseas to places like India 
and rent-stabilized housing units are being sold to private interests who are quickly raising rents to market rates, forcing the handicapped, elderly, and others in, on fixed incomes into the streets. Now we are finding out the government cannot foot the bill for security and the runways of Kennedy Airport have been left unguarded. All of this has driven up the crime rate and now neighborhood store owners are fighting criminals and the criminal justice system that comes after them when they are forced at gunpoint to defend their lives and property while the banks are under constant police surveillance. All the while, over 100 days after the completion of major fighting, the only employment young people can obtain are military jobs, placing them in the sights of Iraqi snipers. Thank you, Mr. President. The cost of living in New York is only going up as the city raises all the taxes and still looks for more ways to close the $4 million budget de deficit we are facing. If you want to drink your familiar glass of milk, get ready to pay a 15% increase. Bus and subway rides went up with promises to come back down, but never did, and now they're going to be closing some token booths. Now, is that our fault? Let's hear from our economic correspondent, Miracle. Talk to me, Miracle. No, of course not, Hope. And I don't understand why we even have to keep paying for their bad mistakes. They are wasting our money. What is going on here is ridiculous, especially concerning the rental situation. Do you know, Hope, that there are things that nobody even understands? Like, why in heaven's name a single person who works hard, you know, pays taxes, and has never been on welfare, why does that person have to live in a studio apartment when it comes to affordable housing, special programs, Section 8, you know, housing project units? I mean, why do they have to be sentenced to live in a cage and pay the same as everyone else, huh? You know, makes me wonder. Well, maybe that's why people, you know, want to remain on unemployment and get everything for free. You know, I was wondering if the working class, you know, has no privileges. I mean, they may, you know, they're, they're better off living on welfare. I mean, seriously, you know, look, here, folks, uh, I want you to follow me on this for a second here. Okay, you know, if a person applies for one of those uh, programs and this person makes $2,100 a month after paying all the taxes, brings home around $1,400, this person still has to pay 30% of $2,100 for the rent because all that matters to them is the gross amount. Okay, they don't care about what you can do and what you can't do after taxes. All right, and, and, and if this person is single, the situation only gets worse because all they can get is a studio, folks. Okay, all right, not only that, the prices in New York are just going up and up. I mean, you know, this is not funny and it's not fair. Yeah, 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 this is not fun at all. That's why we have our public service to help the community. We are a little suspicious that our politicians want to amp New York. And on top of that, when we call to complain, nobody answered the phone. Where are only answered machines? Please check the area code and number and dial again. Machines. Did you have ever tried to call one of these big companies to resolve your problems, pray? Yes. Have you ever tried to call IRS, INS, City Hall, or a public hospital? I mean, they provide services. They provide you with services, you pay, but when something goes wrong, forget about it. There is no way that you can talk to a human being in less than 40 minutes. And that's if you are lucky. Another day, I call it smart energy for times. Four times. I had to wait more than 40 minutes. Then they hang up on me. They are horrible. All those big funny companies, major credit card, Compute servers, Sprint, wireless, internet, oh my god, goodness, they are really a death sentence. Okay, now, if you have any problem like this, we give you an advice. Hope on the slope news advice. Cut off your service immediately. Bring the subject to the public, and most important, do not, I said, do not pay your bills. Whew. 
It is hot in here. Let's talk with our weatherman. How's the weather like around here, Mr. Mark My Word? Welcome to the International Weather, featuring your International Weather Boy, Marky My Words. And now for the weather. For the next few days and nights, we'll be bringing you the weather. For you New Yorkers, it'll be the end of 40 days and, oh, they turned it off, and 40 nights of rain. That's right, raining bullets coming from New York cops all over the city, and not to mention the torrential downpours on Wall Street. From Merrill Lynch, storms that have soaked thousands and thousands and thousands of investors, to the good news. And the good news is there'll be plenty of clear skies with great visibility of stars at night. So many stars, in fact, that the view from the Hamptons will be more crowded than the Palms restaurant. That's in East Hampton, Mr. President. The blue skies are, of course, making President Taylor's departure from Libya a world event. That's in Africa, Mr. President. Of course, this is a big contrast to Argentina. That's in South America, Mr. President, where drought has ravaged the country with a lack of rain and money being dried up by the momentum, or menum, period of drought. Scientists from all the world are speculating that the Argentinian drought is connected to the awesome weather pattern of La Nina over California, causing a major widespread dry spells. The tremendous hot winds, known as the San Arnold Windows, better known as the Gray Davis Terminating Tornado, generating from California's recall, appears to be fanned by no less than the Pentagonian Sirocco's over Washington, D.C. And now, talking about hot air, the major hot air system over D.C. with its Air Force jet streams is not only threatening storm clouds over Europe, that's across the ocean, Mr. President, but increasing threats over Korea. President Bush's latest offer to buy Korea's nuclear weapon program met with Korea Jim, <laughs> Kim Kong's response, mark my day. So for those people vacationing in Korea, Hope on the Slope is offering you some block 3,000 against those nasty nuclear burns and apartheid tans. Marking my words here, the international weather boy, and back to you, Hope. Come on, Bray, let's go to our international news. In Mexico, Mexican immigrants almost burnt alive while they were sleeping. Five white fellows set fire just because of the family's nationality. One of the fellows is the son of an NYPD officer. Uh-huh. Africa. African men got shot several times at a warehouse in Manhattan. Police said that Zango, that's the man's name, the dead man had a gun in his hand, so he was self-defense as always. Spanish immigrant. In Williamsburg, immigrant woman was shot in the stomach as a result of a police for stolen merchandise in the area. The allegation, another accident. After the accident, cops were taken to the hospital because they were traumatized. Uh-huh, you never know. Hmm, another Spanish immigrant. His name was Jose Luis. Got shot in the Union City, New Jersey after another police scarfler. Got a gun? Thank, Thank you, you, Mr. Mr. Mayor. Mayor. That's all for tonight, folks. This is Hope on the Slope News signing off. We'll be back next week, I hope. And I pray, good night.
from New York City and crying out to the rest of the world. This is Hope on the Slope News with your anchors, Hope Fading and Pray Harder. Good evening, everyone. I am Hope Fading, and this is Hope, Hope on, on the, the Slope News. News. Nine o'clock edition. And I am praying hard. Now I'm just I'm, I'm I'm getting something right now. It seems that we have a a house on fire, and there are no firefighters. We have we have two dead and three injured. Let's see if any ERs are open. subject of affordable housing for the miserables. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Sir, can you tell me uh, what you like about living here? Well, it's not too bad, actually. I don't have to pay the 5.5% rent increase. I don't got to pay the 33% increase in transportation taxes. I don't know, it's not bad. I mean, I'm a city uh, it's worker that just got is laid off. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Okay. <laughs> officer! Officer, he lives here. Why are you giving him a ticket? Come on! Officer! Officer, excuse me, may I have comment on why you're giving that man a ticket when he lives right over there? Hey, my quota is 50 tickets a day no matter what, okay? You got a problem with that? Talk to the mayor. Well, I certainly will. How am I going to afford that ticket? Come on, officer, what are hey, you what doing? Hey, what the fuck? Hey, hey. Oh, Jesus! Oh, Jesus! Oh, you fucking homeless bastard! Fuck oh, you!
Mr. Sorrow, let's see what the population thinks about that. Ma'am, you're not allowed smoking here. I have to. Cigarettes pay for our health care. Didn't you know that Pataki's health care plan depends on cigarette taxes? Oh. The mayor's closed the emergency rooms and the firehouses. He's raised the bus and transit fares. The mayor's cut health care for the poor. Can you imagine? He's even closed the senior citizen centers. Of course, he has to raise revenue to balance the budget. And now he's even charging more for water. We're all going to have to drink champagne. However, none of this really affects me. After all, I'm rich. I don't pay taxes. Ah, porque estou tão sozinho. E fica mais lindo por causa do amor yeah, yeah. Ah, se ela soubesse que quando ela pasta O mundo inteirinho se enche de graça E fica mais lindo por causa do amor Por causa do amor Por causa do amor Nosso fechão é Minha promessa é enviar no seu coração
Thanks for the audience. I hope you have enjoyed this show. Good night. I'll see you.